Try this. The product of 3 and the sum of negative 9 and 11 amounts to 6. Product of 3 and the sum of negative 9 and 11 amounts to 6. Go ahead and write that down. Let's go through this. Let's underline the words that mean math. First thing, though, we're going to look for the word that means equals. Up here, what word or phrase means equals? Two. 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 Okay, so we know we're going to underline that portion of it. Whatever comes before that is going on the right hand side. I'm sorry, left hand side. Whatever comes after that is going on the right hand side. So amounts to means our equals. So somewhere we're going to have our equation, and 6 is the only thing on the right hand side of that equation because it's the only thing after our equals. Let's go ahead and underline some more things. What else up here means math? Product. 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 Good. What does product mean? No, multiply. Okay. So we're multiplying. What else? Sum. Sum. What's sum mean? Multiple. Add. Can I have those backwards? It's all right. So the product we're multiplying, sum we're adding for sure. But now wait a second. We dealt with this before. If we ignore this amounts to 6, we already have the equal 6. We're really just focusing on this portion of it. The product of 3 and the sum of negative 9 and 11. Whenever you saw that, you remember how I said the product of 3 and, it should give you a number there. Product of 3 and 6. Product of 3 and negative 2. Product of 3 and something. If it doesn't give you a number, what that implies is that you're going to have to use what? You're going to have to use parentheses. So this says the product of 3, that's 3 times, but then it's not like 3 and 6 or 3 and a number or 3 and something else. It's 3 and the sum of. So this is 3 times What's the sum of negative 9 and 11? Let's write that. Negative 9 plus 11. So we want 3 times this sum. Not just negative 9. We want 3 times the whole thing. 3 times the sum of this. The way you show that is with those parentheses. Most times when that happens, when it says like the product of, of 3 and, and that gives you another operation to do, like sum, difference, it's typically that parentheses. That's what that's implying. Now, can you distribute and check your answer? Of course you can. Right? Do you have to? Right now, I'm just worried that you can get this far, okay? In the future, when we get to our equations in section 3.4, we'll be distributing and actually solving them. For right now, I want to make sure you get this. You could verify it, though, couldn't you? Yeah. You're going to do uh, negative 27, 33, combine those together, you're going to get positive 6. So that does work out for us. Another word I, I haven't told you about yet, that word up there, can you see the word that means equals? Yields. Yields is it. That's right. There are several more. I just gave you the most common ones that we're going to be seeing. There are several more that means equals. So for us in this case, yields means equals. What's the thing after the yields? So that's the only thing on the right-hand side of our equation. It's going to be negative 4. On the left hand side of our equation, we've got to underline some words. What words up there mean math? Quotient. What does that mean? Divide. Good, okay. The quotient of 24 and negative 6. The quotient of 24 and negative 6. We're going to write that as a fraction. What number should go on top? 24. Perfect. That's the way a quotient works. First number goes on top, second number goes on the bottom. Is that a true statement? Yes. And no, we're, we're okay. We're good to go. How many will feel okay with this basic translating that we're doing? All right. This is actually the end of our section 3.3.